using Looker Studio is very easy to do. Today I'm gonna show you how to do it. First of all, you have to open your Chrome browser and search here for Looker Studio. When you click on it, here you can see that there are some searches, but you have to scroll down and click on this one link. That is Looker Studio Overview. And after this, the website will look like this. Here you can see that your account is logged in, but I want to change my account to this account because I want to link that Looker Studio account to that Google account to manage. So, let's see the overview of this software. First of all, you can see that on the left side of the screen, you have Create Options. When you click on Create Option, you can see that you can create, report, data sort, and explore. So, now we are going to just explore. So, now we have recent options. Here you can see that you're some recent files and recent work that we have done. And on the left side, the next option is Share Video. And this is the place where you can see Share's files with you. Next is Owned by Me. Here you can see that files that you have created and the files which belongs to your account only. Next one is Bin Option. Here you can see that files that you have deleted and these come here after the deletion. And next you can see the template option. There are many templates here. You can see that Google Analytical templates are here. And you can also see the big query templates, Google Sheets templates, YouTube Analytical templates are here. So, now what you have to do is just click on Settings button. And here you can see that Marketing Preferences, Developer Options, Account and Privacy, Revoke Data Sources, Revoke Consistent, Project Ownership. So, now here we are going to do some settings for our account. So, first of all you can see that Marketing Preferences, select which updates you want to see. So, you can also click on Yes to All. If you want the, click on Yes to All to receive all the notifications. Let me scroll down. And here you can see that the option is Tips and Recommendations about how to get the most out of your local studio account. So, if you want to know that, then click on Yes button. So, I want to, then I click on Yes button. Next is Product Announcement. Would you like to receive updates on the latest features, updates, and product announcements by email? So, I don't want to receive this one, so I click on No. And the next one is Market Research. So, if you want to receive notifications about this, then you have to click on Yes button. So, I want, so I click on Yes button. Next one is Developer Options. Here you can see that Build Your Own Community Connector. Visit Looker Studio for developers to learn how to build, deploy, and polish a community connector. So, you can read all the details. And then if you want to allow this, then you can allow this. And you can see that it is saved. So, now there are also some more options. If you want anyone setting in your account, then you can do it. So, if you want to edit the role, then you can edit from here. And next one is Revoke and Data Source. So, you can also read about that. So, this time we are going to cut this pop-up and going to do another work. Next, you have to click on Create button which is on the left side of the screen at the upper side. And here you have three options. First one is Report, second one is Data Source, and third one is Explore. So, now I am going to create Data Source. So, now you have to click on Data Source button. So, when you click on it, a new pop-up will appear here. Here you have to fill two forms to continue. Next, first of all, you have to enter your basic information like country. So, now select here your country. So, I select here Pakistan. Next you can see that Pakistan is selected. And next, you can see that another option that is company. So, you have to enter the company name. So, I write here Sargata Time. So, now you have to agree to all the terms and conditions. And in the right side, you can see that how Local Studio can help you. So, there are three points. Connect to all your data sources. Bring your insiders together. Create meaningful visualizations. Easily collaborate and share information. So, after this, you have to click on Continue button. So, here you can see that a new pop-up will appear here that is saying about the recommendation and tips notification. So, now if you want to click on Yes to All, then you can click on this button. So, this time we are going to do this. So, now I click Yes to All. Here you can see that all three options are become Yes. After this you have to click on Continue button, which is on the right bottom side of the screen. When you click on it, here you can see that the new window will look like this. So now if you want to add your name of source, then you have to enter it. So let's suppose I want to enter the name. Like I write here Usama Yunus. So you can see that Osama Yunus name is entered. S. Next if you want to collect data from Google Ads you can click on Google Ads. But if you want to collect data from Google Analytics then you can have to click on this option. So these are the platform from which one you want to collect data you can select from these here. So let's suppose I want to collect data from Google Ads. So click on Google Ads button. So here you have to select account. So here you have option is authorization. Click on authorize button here. And here you have to select the account which you want for your account. So after selecting account you can see that it's done. And now you can see that this is my account. So here you have a connect option just below your account section. So now click on connect button. So here you can see that your account is successfully connected. So now you can see that this is all the data that my Google account is given to this Looker Studio.
So, now you can see that and in this way you can access any of the Google platform analytics in your Looker Studio. So now if you want to create report on this data, you have to click on create report button which is on the upper right screen of the corner. So now when you click on this button, you can see that after some time this report will be created. Make sure you have good internet connection while using this Looker Studio. So the new pop-up will appear here. You can set up according to your need. And here you can see that the report is created according to my details. So now if you want to change the location of this you can click here. Next you can see that here is just one thing that is campaign name. This is video C. This is my analytics because I don't run any campaign successfully. So if you have any successful campaign or any successful ad, the all this data will show on this here. So now let's see if you want to add color in your report, how to do that. So you have to click on style button on the right side of the screen. And here you can see that conditional formatting option and many other options are there. So now you have to click on add button. So here you can see that new pop-up will appear here. So now you can see that there our first option is color type, single color or color scale. So I want to click on color scale. And here you have to select the field. So I have only one field. So now click on this clicks button. And next you can see that there is a color format. You can select according to yours. So now you can see that the color I want to choose is this one. So now you just have to click on save button. So you can see that this color is successfully added in my report. So the next you have to focus on the header of this page. So here the first option that you have is zoom in and zoom out. It's very simple, you can do it personally. Next one is add pages. So now when you click on this button, so here you can see that page is added. On the left side of the screen you have first page and here you have second page. If you want to add more page, then you can add more from here. And next one is add data button. So it's very important and you can see if you want to add data from any one other platform you can use here. So now come back to the previous page. And here you have next option add to chart option. And if you want to use all these charts in your pages, then you can choose one of them. So there are many tabs like table, bar, line, Google Maps and many more. So let's suppose I want to add the lines here so now you have to click on this one line. And it will automatically add it in your screen. But if you want to add in the first page in your sheet, then you have to click on add to chart again and then click on add line button. And here you can add it here and here you can see that it is successfully added in my charts. Next option is add a control. So if you want to do these things, then you can do here. So let's suppose I want to add input box. So now you can see that input box is here. You can close this pop-up. Next if you want to add another thing, then you can do and so let's suppose we want to add slider. Just click on it and it will be added in your screen. So again you have to close this pop-up. Next one is gallery option. And if you want to upload your image from computer, you have to click on this button and select your required image and then open it here. You can see that image is successfully added in your sheet. And next you have to come back and here you have another main option that is share button. So let's suppose you want to share this sheet with one another. Click on share button and here you have to do some settings. So now setting is only the people with this account can view. But we have to click on this button and here you have to click on public. So now that is anyone on the internet with the link can find and view. So now you have to click on save button. But first you have to copy the link and then click on save button. So now anyone with the link can see that. So now this sheet is your public. So in this way you can use Looker Studio to create a report about your data.